previously on GWF Free Count. Selbst du hast mich bei Three Count besiegt. Du hast mich einfach platt gemacht. Irgendwas war da voll. Three Count, ja, aber wirklich so ein bisschen merkwürdig. Fast so, als hätte die irgendwann was ins Wasser gemischt. War das mit dem Schlafmittel? Vielleicht war es ein bisschen zu heftig. Ah, du hast wohl recht. Scheiß drauf. I did exactly like you told me. I did not play by the rules. I beat him up on the ground in revenge. One, two, three. Three count wird mein Erfolg sein. Jetzt hör zu und lerne was. Ich habe einen Plan. Eure Streitigkeiten in zwei in die GWF. Gut. Solange Ahmed nicht weiß, wie man eine Wrestling Promotion zu führen hat, wird sich hier nie irgendwas ändern. Weißt du was? Das Match Lucky Kid gegen Pascal Spalter wird einer unserer stärksten Matches bei Legacy sein. Ja, wird bestimmt gut sein. Wir sollten die komplette Card veröffentlichen. Umso schneller, umso besser. Ehrlich gesagt, gerade das Match Lucky Kid gegen Pascal Spalter finde ich langweilig. Langweilig? Ja? Lucky Kid? Das ist ziemlich profillos. Das ist kein richtiger Typ. Das ist nicht der richtige Gegner für Pascal. Was sind fünf? Du? Na klar! Pascal ist dreifacher World Champ. Ich habe Titel weltweit gehalten. Das ist das Match für Legacy. Hm. Weißt du, aber Lucky ist echt beliebt bei den Zuschauern und die glauben auch voll an ihn. Wie wäre es denn mit dem Match bei Three Count? Lucky Kid gegen Bad Bones. Dann kann er gleich eine Kostprobe von mir abbekommen. Und die Fans sehen, wer die wahre Nummer eins ist. Ja. Klingt ganz gut. Weißt du was? Machen wir. Und aus dem Match bei Legacy machen wir ein Three-Way Dance. Pascal Spalter was Lucky Kid was John Bad Bones Klinger. Digga. Wow. Ey, richtig guter Matchmaker. Ich meine, die Jungs gehen echt sich glücklich jetzt. Hey, Kohl! Wow, wow, wow. Was los? Wie was los, Alter? Redest mir von Respekt und Loyalität und ziehst du eine Scheiße ab, oder was? Was redest du, Kleiner? Wie was redest du? Ich hab dich so schaut, Alter. Ha? Bist du schon so alt geworden, dass jemand ins Getränk was reinmischen muss, damit die ihre Matches verlieren? Ha? Bist du schon so alt, Kohl? Was laberst du hier jetzt? Alter, ich erzähle dir jetzt mal was. Du hast mir jetzt Getränk was reingemischt, damit ich gegen Tarkan verliere. Ah. Das hast du gemacht, Alter. Gibst du einfach zu, Mann! Jetzt weiß ich, wo die Musik spielt. Welche Musik, Mann? Was für eine Musik, Alter? Ja, du denkst dir in deinen geilen Fantasieköpfchen irgendwelche Geschichten aus, nur weil du nicht manns genug bist, um zuzugeben, dass du mal verlierst. Ich, ich sag dir jetzt mal was. Du hast mir was reingemischt, du bist einfach nur krank, Alter. Du bist einfach nur, dass die ganzen Leute... Aber doch mal nicht so ein Bullshit. Wie, wie labern, Und Alter. abgesehen davon... Hast du eigentlich Beweise ja, für die ganze Nacht? Ich hab keine Beweise. Ja, das ist mir klar, dass ja? du keine Beweise hast. Aber ich werde jetzt zu Ahmed gehen. Ja, geh zu Ahmed. Und ihm die, die ganze Geschichte erzählen. Und wenn die Wahrheit rauskommt, cool. Ja? Dann fliegst du ganz schön aus der Gewerbe raus. Das kannst du nicht glauben. Wenn du schon zu Ahmed petzen gehst, ja, dann kannst du ihm auch gleich Petzen. ausrichten, dass du ein wenig verrückt geworden bist. Hau ab. Ist was? Willst du meine ehrliche Meinung wissen, Lucky? Nein, Mike. Wirklich nicht. Danke. Lucky, du wirst bei Legacy keine Chance haben. Du hast dich doch schon mal gehört, Mike, oder nicht? Ja, ja Lucky, das ist ein Unterschied, wenn du Werbefilmchen drehst oder auf unserer Bühne stehst oder unser Sport betreibst. Dazu brauchst du Ausstrahlung. Ja, genau. Und schon wieder hat er aufgegeben. Lass mich doch einfach trainieren, Mike, okay? Lass mich doch einfach in Ruhe. Agi, wenn du es mir beweisen willst, dann trittst du gegen Bad Bones an. 
Wenn du mich dann endlich in Ruhe lässt, dann okay, Mike. Okay. Okay. Deal. Deal. Die wollen mich denn alle verarschen, Alter! Die wollen mich komplett verarschen! Kein Respekt vor mir, Alter! Die Idioten, Alter, sitzen da, Alter! Wie die, wie die blöden Affen, Alter! Machen auf ihren Bongos irgendeine Was Scheiße! Sie Was sie machen? Sie stecken mich in das verdammte Loserweight-Match! Was bin ich, verdammter Clown? Ja, wie sehe ich aus? Habe ich eine rote Nase? Laufe ich so rum oder was? Nein, Mann, das hat was mit Respekt zu tun. Aber die Idioten, Alter, die sitzen da. Ey, Loserweight-Match, wir bringen jetzt da gerade rein. Ja, das ist ja richtig geil. Egal, Ma denk jetzt erstmal nicht daran, okay? Du wirst schon sehen, die werden das bereuen. Was soll ich denn sehen? Was soll ich sehen? Kleiner Bruder, erkläre es mir. Vielleicht, vielleicht erkenne ich es nicht in meiner großen Weisheit. Was soll ich sehen? Überleg doch mal. Das ist deine Chance, ihnen zu zeigen, wer du bist. Was soll ich machen? Diese Loserweight-Matches sind ja da, um die Leute zu unterhalten. Ja? Sie sollen lachen und Spaß haben, richtig? Wie Clowns. Ja. Und du wirst ihnen den Spaß verderben. Brot und Spiele, Bruder Herz. Geh da raus und mach sie fertig. Ah. Wir geben ihnen das, du hast recht. Wir geben ihnen, was sie wollen. Dieses eine Mal. Und dann werden sie verstehen, was das bedeutet. Sie haben darum gebeten. Das ist nicht unsere Schuld. <lacht> ah! Komm! Ah! Mike. Ich bitte dich um ein Match gegen Tarkan Aslan. Egos. Wir sind nicht bei Wünsch dir was. Du sagst doch immer, dass Wessler ihre Probleme im Ring klären sollen. Und wir haben ein Problem. Oh. Egos, du hast doch erst gegen Tarkan gerade verloren. Was willst du denn eigentlich? Das Match war nicht fair, Tarkan war nicht fair und das weißt du auch. Fair, fair. Weißt du was? Ich bin fair. Und fair reimt sich auf Scher. Nein, nicht witzig. Weißt du was? Du bekommst deine Chance gegen Tag an Aslan. Du bekommst den Kampf gegen Tag an Aslan. Aber bei Legacy. Und bitte schön. Danke. Danke, danke. Danke, danke, danke. Da kommt ein Bier. Scheiße. I mean, what is your problem? I've already stood in the ring. Against monsters. I don't want the third one. Yeah, but you're a wrestler. I'm a wrestler, but I'm still a rookie, you know. Yeah, but come on, go out and get him. I know what Mike is doing with me. He just wants to punish me. He just sent another animal against me. Oh, come on. It's Takan Aslan. I mean, you know him. Yeah, but he's a lion. And I have only a giraffe. Well, lions... Nothing else than really big cats. I'm not going out there. The giraffe is going to eat the lion tonight. Wow. Du bist ja richtig gut. Natürlich. <laughs> Ihr habt die Ehre und den Stolz eines Kämpfers Für euch gibt's nur Sieg, kein Zurück oder Schlenkern Respekt drauf, ich weiß, kostet Mut und dir Zeit Es fängt erst langsam an, noch ist ganz schnell vorbei Hast du wirklich, was der Sieg braucht? Achte auch im Sieg raus, darauf was du machst Sonst ist es mit dem Spiel aus, das erst die Dream Count Ist es mit deinem Dream aus, pack, 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 pack Deine Sachen, jetzt du fliegst raus Du wartest, dass du durchstehst vor dem großen Event Dein Leben lang trainiert für diesen einen Moment Ist dein bestes Geben bei den Dingen, die ihn leiden schaffen Nur mit Herz, Blut und Schweiß, wenn die Tilla kämpft, die Tilla kämpft Hallo Berlin! Hier ist die German Wrestling Federation live in Huxley-Sexen-Kessel Hier ist Free Cup! Three times.
IBGW World Champion, Pascal Stoffel. Das nächste Match ist angesetzt auf einen Fall. Und das ist ein Lumberjack Match. So a Lumberjack Match to start things out. And here come a group who have been causing trouble ever since this group was formed back in July 2016. But annoyingly, Group Anarchy and Jem Kaplan now hold the Berlin Championship. Auf dem Weg zum Ring, begleitet von seinen Lumberjacks, Group Anarchy, George Kukas, Abdul Kenan, Aitaj Baha, dem Original Flying Dragon, dem King of Hardcore, Ali Aslan, mit einem Gewicht von 95 Kilogramm, aus Istanbul in der Türkei, the Sultan of Wrestling, Jem Kaplan. Ich heiße Ali Aslan, der härteste Burning Champion der Geschichte der GWF, mein Schüler. Der Sultan des Wrestling, der amtierende Champion Jem Kaplan. Ich bin der Boss der Group Anarchie. Ich kämpfe um Anerkennung und Respekt. Das haben wir jahrelang von euch nicht bekommen. <lacht> Aber jetzt müssen wir es kriegen. Mein Ziel ist es, jeden Gürtel der Liga zu bekommen. Und egal wer sich mir in die Quere schickt, New Wave oder wie die auch alle heißen, irgendwelche Hampelmänner aus irgendwelchen Ländern, ich zerstöre euch alle. Kein Hardcore-Ungar namens Dover wird mich bezwingen oder besiegen können. The Sultan of Wrestling, Jim Kaplan. Well, Jim Kaplan calls himself the Sultan of Wrestling, but Ali Aslan is certainly the mastermind behind Group Anarchy, as he will be the first to tell you. Sein Gegner. So it is Group Anarchy versus New Wave here in this Lumberjack match. Kaplan going to go one-on-one -on -one with the hardcore Hungarian Dover. But both of these men's respective factions will surround the ring. And make no mistake about it, they will get their shots in if either man spills to the outside. Auf dem Weg zum Ring! Mit seinen Lumberjacks, Icarus, La Sensation Francaise, Senza Volto, The Predator Slayer, Oliver Carter, und The Falcon, Tris Jokic, The New Wave. Mit einem Gewicht von 103 Kilogramm, aus Budapest in Ungarn, The Arrow of Hungary, The Hardcore Hungarian, Dover. Well, Dover, one half of the tag team champions, the Arrows of Hungary, along with Icarus, sends the Voldo, Chris Jokic, and Oliver Carter out here as well. Collectively, they are New Wave. The Arrow of Hungary, the hardcore Hungarian, Dover. So Dover, making his way into the ring, and tensions already mounting between Group Anarchy and New Wave. There might be as much action outside the ring as there is inside it here. If I was Kaplan or Dover, I'd have no interest whatsoever in uh, going to that no man's land on the outside. Dave Bradshaw here at ringside for you for, to call this match. And of course, our big main event we've got coming up for you later as I said at the top of the show. Pascal Spalder and Matt Cross gonna go one on one. Jim, what? And if Jim Kaplan looks a little bit more nervous than normal, it's not just because of this lumberjack match situation he finds himself in. He's gonna have to defend the Berlin title on our biggest show of the year, Legacy, on November 3rd in a triple threat match against El Fantasmo and Speedball, Mike Bailey. Dover making sure he uh, stays on the ring apron and doesn't 
go to the outside and into the clutches of that pack of wolves group energy. Well, Kaplan finds himself out there, surrounded by all four other members of New Wave. And a tense standoff between these guys as Kaplan eventually gets into the ring unscathed, but only temporarily unscathed because Dover catches him with that overhead throw. Dover lining up. Kaplan over. Dover dragged out of the ring by Group Energy. There's Kanan, Kukas, Baha, Ali Aslan directing traffic, of course. New waiver out here to try and counter Group Anishi. As I said, the action very quickly spilling to the outside. Kaplan, an overhead suplex of his own. And say what you will about Kaplan, but he is put together and Kaplan has found a way by hook or by crook to cling on to that Berlin title in every title defense he's had so far. Ooh, big right hand from Dover, and now look at this new wave unloading on Kaplan. Oh, Anishi, group Anishi are in there. Well, they shouldn't be in the ring. Well, there's a brawl here between... It's a 10-man brawl. Well, security are trying to get involved. This one is broken down entirely. It's supposed to be a lumberjack match. And you've got to wonder, how long can you keep these two groups apart? Our, our event stewards are trying their best to, to do that, but this is absolute chaos. We expected, I guess, a, an element of uncertainty, having so many combustible elements out here, but this one has broken down in record time. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Well, Group Anishi and New Wave finally separated, but I very much assume well, this match has been thrown out. Yeah, it has. There you go. There's the bell. Utter carnage here. Und hier die Entscheidung des Referees. Dieser Kampf endet nach dem Eingreifen aller Lumberjacks mit einem No Contest. Yeah, the match declared a No Contest as Group Energy and New Wave going to war here on Freak Out. Haut den Ali um! means knock Ali down and that is what the crowd have been chanting at Ali Aslan throughout. Ali wird alleine euch umhauen! Aslan saying, I think he said he'll knock every one of New Wave down by himself, but maybe that's a threat he's going to leave for another day. New Wave left standing in the middle of the ring here. After that match between Jem Kaplan and Dover descended into absolute chaos. Gang warfare here between New Wave and Group Anishi. This is Nexus Unmatched of Einen Fall! Well, here comes one of the more unique characters in GWF, he is the loser weight champion. Auf den Weg zum Ring! Mit einem Gewicht von 65 Kilogramm aus Debrecen in Ungarn, the Debrecen Sausage Boy, Benji! Well, Benji, we've seen him on three count already twice this season, and unfortunately for all you Benji fans out there, he hasn't had very much success. Emphatic defeats at the hands of Murat AK and Pascal Spouter. And goodness knows what our matchmaker, Crazy Sexy Mike, has in store 
for the loserweight champion, this ongoing grudge from our matchmaker. The Debrecen Sausage Boy, the winner of Who's Next? Benji! Benji was the winner of Who's Next, but the question for him this week on Freak Out is who's next for him here in Berlin? And sein Gegner. Oh, really? Well, come on. You talk about a mismatch. Sexy Mike, our matchmaker, is going to make its Benji take on the Lion King. This is cruel and unusual punishment. As this, quite honestly, superstar, Tarkan Aslan, with this incredible charismatic aura surrounding him enters the ring mit seinem gewicht von 85 kilogramm aus dem großstadt dschungel von berlin das alpha tier the lion king takan aslan at battlefield he was so so close to being a world champion but even though he doesn't have the championship gold, the fans still love him. That's Alpha Tier, the Lion King, Tarkan Aslan! Well, Tarkan Aslan may feel that he should be the GWF world champion, as I say. He felt he had Chris Colan beaten. A battlefield back in September. And, oh, it's Benji moved out of the way as that's when charged up. And it makes Benji the loser weight champion. He's gonna, well, I was gonna say he's gonna try and send Aslan charging across the ring, but Aslan putting the brakes on and Aslan, oh my. Right, four up as a headbutt from Aslan. Aslan with a boot to the midsection and we're seeing an aggressive side. Look at that stomp. The curb stomp by Tarkan Aslan. An aggressive side of Tarkan Aslan we're seeing here. Oh my goodness. He's booting Benji. He's, he's trying to, it's like he's trying to hurt this young man. And you do wonder what is going on with Tarkan Aslan. We saw him a couple of weeks old. Oh, God, stop! 
stuff is hard to watch. I saw him a couple of weeks ago. Oh my god. Against Cash Money Air Cam when Air Cam collapsed. Hazan showed no mercy then. He's showing none here either. He's gonna give this kid a fractured skull if he's not careful. This is a utterly heartless side of Tarkan Aslan. I'm not sure I entirely like. Aslan picks up its Benji. Aslan, tombstone pile driver. And the Lion King will put Benji out of his misery. What is the Sieger? Das Alpha Tier, the Lion King, Tarkan Aslan. A brutal and short performance by Tarkan Aslan. Starting with that forearm to the head and then the headbutt. And following that curb stop to Benji, just repeated attacks to the cranium, to the skull of the loser weight champion a devastating tombstone pile driver benji going completely limp and this ultra aggressive side of tarkan aslan continuing to rear its head this week on three count well this is tough to see because there has been some very serious and let's hope not permanent damage done to its Benji here by Tarkan Aslan and Benji is going to have to have some very serious medical attention because of the actions of the Lion King. Also hoffentlich hat er sich nicht ernsthaft verletzt. Er ist der Mann, das muss man sagen, der die Nachwuchsshow, die Rookie-Show von der GWF gewonnen hat. Der Sieger von Who's Next? Um, the the Debrecen Sausage Boy, Benji. Gute Besserung. Der Main-Event des Abends ist angesetzt auf einen Fall. Well, we send our best wishes to Benji, but in any case, it is Main-Event time. Auf den Weg zum Ring. Jetzt hat ein Gewicht von 80 Kilogramm der Star von Lucha Underground aus Cleveland, Ohio, USA, the Son of Havoc, Matt Cross. The Son of Havoc has been quite the feature on this season of three count, former Berlin champion, of course, and a couple of tremendous victories. Looking for another one against the former three-time world champion. Von Lucha Underground, the son of Havoc, Matt Cross! And we last saw Matt Cross three weeks ago. He was victorious in a fatal four-way match against Senza Voldo, El Fantasma and Chris Jokic. We're going to follow it up with another victory here. On sein Gegner. But it's a tough proposition facing Matt Cross, the star of Berlin, the German heavyweight, Pascal Spalder. Auf den Weg zum Ring. Mit einem Gewicht von 132 Kilogramm, der Held der Hauptstadt, Mann der Zeitgeschichte, Stern von Berlin, the German heavyweight, aus Berlin, Deutschland. Pascal Spalter! Well, you would think because he's from here, he'd be a hometown hero, but such is the disdain that Pascal Spalter has for the crowd, that that is not the case. And the feeling of animus is very much mutual. These people do not like Pascal Spalter whatsoever. Aus Berlin, der Held der Hauptstadt, Mann der Zeitgeschichte, Stern von Berlin, the German heavyweight, Pascal Spalter. Spalter, the former three-time champion, couldn't make it four times at revenge. 
And as we saw last week on this program, he is continuing to have his problems with Lucky Kid and with John Bad Bones Klinger. We now know that those three men will face off against each other at GWF Legacy on November the 3rd. That show, plus Revenge, plus all of our other great shows available on our on-demand service, we are GWF.com. And if you want to be there in person, tickets and merchandise available at our other website, our main website, GWF-Wrestling.com. Spouter and Cross, main event. Bell rings are underway and here comes Cross. The Son of Havoc, quick out of the gates. Cross gonna try and take Spouter by surprise so that superior power can't bear any fruit for Spouter. Of oh, course, got caught though, and that is what he can't afford to do. He's holding like a rag doll, like he's a child, is Spouter. Cross was able to take him down, and that is exactly what Cross needs to do. That speed, that agility is what got him here, and that's what may take him to victory, if anything will, against Spouter. A big boot, though, from Spouter right into the heart of the Son of Havoc, and Spouter now will put the boot in to Matt Cross. Taking control, slowing things down, and sends uh, cross face first into the turnbuckle pad. Spouter making sure he bends the rules but doesn't break them. That's the kind of strategy that, whether you like it or not, from an ethical perspective, has taken him to three world titles. And Spouter looking strong, heading into that triple threat match at Legacy. Already shaping up to be an absolutely incredible show is Legacy as Spouter with authority sends Cross hard into the corner. As well as that triple threat match featuring Spouter and Klinger and Lucky Kid. Don't forget about the Berlin title match I talked about earlier. Jen Kaplan going to defend the title against El Fantasmo and Speedball Mike Bailey. That's happening at Legacy as well. Again, you can watch it all on wearegwf.com. And Spouto is trying to uh, convince the crowd to give him the response he wants. All the time, by the way. Applying pressure to the back of the neck of Cross. And following up with a clubbing blow to the same part of the body. Cross kicks out of the subsequent pin attempt at two. Spouter will pick Cross up again. Big elbow into the side of the head from the star of Berlin. Follows it up with a charge into the corner, but that was maybe ill-advised as Cross gets the elbow up into the face of Spouter. Blocks another elbow to Cross. And oh, didn't block that one though. Spouter with full force. That nearly. 300 pound frame of Spalder. Very much the heavyweight. Literally and figuratively is Pascal Spalder. Spalder now. The chin lock applied. Smart move by Spalder. It gives him a chance to get his breath back while affording no such luxury to his opponent. Switches into a lateral press for a two count. Spouter.
clearly in control heading into that big, big match against Lucky Kid and John Badbones Kling. You know, it's very well documented that triple threat matches are not exactly Pascal Spouter's forte. Oh, wow. Sent to the outside by Cross. Spouter has lost the world title on two of his three occasions as champion via triple threat match. He's in danger of losing this match to Matt Cross as Cross launches between the top and middle rope. He's going to do it a second time as well. Spouter suddenly is in trouble here. Almost unanimous support for the son of Havoc in his efforts to take down Pascal Spouter. And now Cross is going to head up to the top here. Oh, wow. Pin attempt by Cross and a kick out again by Spouter. Matt Cross is 37 years old. He's a 17 year veteran. Used to be a competitive gymnast as well before his career in pro wrestling took priority. And he was awarded the Best High Flyer Award in AAA in Mexico back in 2017, which shows you something of the caliber of this man's acrobatic antics, but Spout has grabbed him here in midair. Spout was looking for the Spout slam, I think. The victory roll, double foot stomp. And Cross lands on top of him. Can Cross steal one from Spout? No, he can't because Spout gets out on two and a half. Real clash of styles, the clash of personalities here between Pascal Spouder and Matt Cross, but it's making for a fascinating main event on this week's free count as we move ever, ever closer to our biggest show of the year. We've talked about it throughout the show, GWF Legacy coming up on November 3rd. Cross will go for the cross body. He gets caught by Spouter again. And Spouter will try for the Spouter slam. This time he nails it. The cover. Will that be enough? No, it won't. And no one is more surprised by that than Pascal Spouter. Spouter is. A man who's driven by his own self-confidence. All of which means he needs to keep up a winning streak heading into Legacy. Facing Lucky Kid on his own would be a huge challenge. Facing Klinger on his own would be a challenge. Facing both at the same time is going to be a hell of a challenge. As Spouter goes for the that's a wrap on, on Cross. Cross though, trying to pick up the huge Spouter on his shoulders, there's a cutter! The cutter by Cross, the cutter, and oh, no, 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 kick out on two by Spouter, but that is the what, second or third time now that Matt Cross has come close to putting away the German heavyweight. Both men down what has been a superb main event on this week's free count. <laughs> Referee has a count on and he's up to seven, but Cross has rolled to the outside, which will break up the count. Well, hang on though, Spouter is, I think inadvertently put himself in a very bad part of town here because Cross is going to the top. Maybe looking for that death from above, that corkscrew 450 splash, or will it be the shooting star? It is the shooting star, no one there. Cross rolls through, there's a drop kick and a big, big one. 
from Spouder. And now Spouder. Even though that's a wrap, Cross will counter. Cross with a roll up. Cross, can he get him? Oh, no, no, no. Cross was remarkably close to getting it done. There's a big clothesline from Spouder. Nearly takes a head off of the son of Hammond. There's the that's a wrap from Spouder. Spouder with the cover. And Spouder marches on towards Legacy. Und hier ist der Sieger aus Berlin, the German heavyweight, Pascal Spalter. But Pascal Spalter took all that Matt Cross could hand him in this main event. And Cross on a couple of occasions looked like he might pull off the upset against a much bigger man. This pair of torpedo-like dive from the top of middle ropes and the Spalter slam wasn't enough to put away Cross. Cross couldn't quite lift up Spalter, so he improvised, hit the cutter for a near fall. That one didn't quite put Spalter away, but it was as close as Cross would get, because after that huge clothesline from Spalter, that's a wrap. Took Matt Cross almost out of his boots. And Pascal Spalter with a victory that will have been watched very, very closely by his opponents on November 3rd, Lucky Kid and John Bad Bones Klinger. We'll see you next week. The German heavyweight, Pascal Spalter. Tamam da o kadar çok baklava yiyorsun ondan sonra bir daha spor yapınca yanında olmuyor öyle. Baklava, club t-shirt, baklava gibi gösteriyor. Omega 3 biraz. Yine de ya. Such a chaos. Oh my god. Have you seen Oliver vs Oliver? Oliver? Dem tritt Ali gerade in den Arsch. Piçlere bak, birbirine Signore Crazy Sexy, Sie wissen, warum Sie hier sind? Ach, wir haben die scheiß Rundmehl geschickt, wir sollen hier irgendwie alle auftauchen. Na, ich spüre da so leichte Aggression aufsteigen. Ja, weil ich hier bei dir sein muss. Was willst du von mir? Rede, rede, Junge. Ich würde gerne über Ihre Aggressionen sprechen und wie man sie kontrollieren kann. Und deswegen, ich würde gerne versuchen, etwas Neues, und zwar Hypnose. Dein Ernst? Willst du mich verarschen? Hypnose? Es funktioniert nicht. Erst recht nicht bei mir. Ich würde trotzdem gerne probieren. Also schauen Sie mal auf diese Finger. Nein. Aber schnippst du vielleicht? Sind wir in der Disco? Nein. Ich hab die Schnauze voll. Lass mich in Ruhe. Okay, ich geh. Oh, meine nächste Patientin. <lacht> hab doch gesagt, die Scheiße funktioniert nicht bei mir. Nerv mich nicht. Ruf mich nicht an oder irgendeinen Scheiß. Und sag, ach, und ich hab die Schnauze voll. Sehen Sie genau, das ist mein Problem. Ich schaff's einfach seit Monaten nicht mehr zum Ring. Äh, ja, das äh, ist ein sehr großes Problem. Und der äh, Dr. Kokotti hatte vielleicht auch die Lösung dafür. Wir könnten versuchen mit Hypnose. Sowas funktioniert doch nicht. Ja, das hat Signore Crazy Sexy. Auch gesagt. Mein Herz, wir sind nicht in der Disco. Die Scheiße funktioniert nicht bei dir. Ich hab die Schnauze voll. Schlaf. <lacht> Habt ihr gehört? Hund? Katze? Miau. <lacht> Elefant. Äh, no, 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 no. Ist, äh, ist gut. 
Patiente crazy sexy. Zustand kritisch. <lacht> 